yesterday so I'll share those with you um, let's see baking soda love to put baking soda in the refrigerator in the freezer to keep it fresh these little pop-up things they go on the wall of the refrigerator I thought they were a good idea and I decided I was gonna try them so I got two one for the refrigerator and one for the freezer large bag of Epsom salt I haven't had a good hot bath in a while we got the kind that eases aches and pains. So I'm curious to see how this does and if I'm gonna like it, if I can feel the difference. So we got this Epsom salt. And this is aluminum foil. This large thing of aluminum foil was at Sam's for $16. It retails for $38 on Amazon. Thought it was a good idea, especially with the news report saying that there's a shortage of aluminum foil. My husband loves Mini Maid Fruit Punch. We try to stay away from sodas. So I got him eliminating two fruit punches. His favorite is the watermelon and it's hard to find. We got two cases of water because we only have one case left in the refrigerator. I got a two pack of the double paper towels. Um, I refuse to get a big thing of paper towels unless I'm getting them from Sam's. And since I didn't have time to go there today, I just got a two pack. Got some peanut oil. We're gonna fry some fish with that peanut oil. Got some fish fry, two different kinds. I like to mix them. Got four baked potatoes to go with dinner. Some hot sauce for the fish. Got my husband some coffee, butter. This is called comeback sauce. I heard about it, but I've never tried it. So I'm curious to try it and see how I like it. I bought a fish fry, deep fryer um, in Walmart. I'm gonna put it outside and fry the fish. I don't like the fish smell in here. We got some cheese for the potatoes and also for our breakfast bowls. Y'all know how much I love those. We got some cream. And then over here, we got some pecan sandwich, my husband's favorite cookie, lemon pound cake, some broccoli that I'm gonna steam with the baked potato and fish, heavy whipping cream, sour cream, Ritz crackers, and cheese whiz. So now I'm gonna put all of this stuff up. Sorry I'm in a rush, but I wanna get everything put up and in the refrigerator, and then I have some other items to show you, okay? Okay, so the last thing I got was a, a, some few, a few items from Walmart. This is just a little dress that I could wear around the house. I thought it was cute. It's in an extra large, let's hope I can fit it. The jumpsuit I'm wearing, I'll put a picture of the whole outfit here, uh, is an extra large. And this is a little extra large that I thought I could wear around the house. And it was cheap, so I got it. Thought it was cute. Now, I know you see all the pillows that I have. I got them because I'm trying to refresh certain areas in the house and get some curtains hung in the room. So I got this big curtain rod that has the ball on the ends. I know you can barely see it, but video coming soon. I'm probably going to hang them tonight. I'm going to hang some curtains, some blackout curtains in my bedroom. Let me show them to you. So these are gray and they're blackout curtains. They're the grommet style up at the top and they're gray and they're the blackout kind and these are the shears that will go and i know you can't really see it that already right, my gimbal went crazy <laughs> so this is what it's going to look like together more to come in the video but they're going to hang on this curtain rod and the shears will hang on just the regular white curtain rod so that's why i got those and then the smaller curtain rod is going to go in the guest bedroom. And I also have 
some curtains to go with that. Um, let me show them to you. Okay. These are the curtains that are going in the guest bedroom. So they have the pretty leaves at the top and the leaves get sparse toward the bottom and it's white and these are actually gonna go up high. So are those gray ones because they're tall and I, you know when you, when your drapes are higher up the ceiling it makes the room look bigger. So we're gonna try those. And I've been just finding random pillows. I thought this was super cute, better together. This was a two pack that I got um, in Walmart also. I thought both of these were super cute. Not exactly the same color, but they're in the same family. And then I actually found these in Dollar General and I thought they were cute. And so it's to break up all of the, this color to add a different color. So. I've just been collecting pillows, haven't decided exactly where they're gonna go. Still on the hunt for some rose gold pillows. One of my subscribers, Veronica, told me about the rose gold pillows and all these, but mine didn't have them. So I'm gonna check another one. Thinking I'm gonna put the rose gold in the office, maybe, maybe not. I may stick with this color theme and gray in there to match the rest of the house, but just add pops of rose, rose gold in there. So anyway, that's all for everything I got today. So now let's get to cooking. All right, family, it's time to get to cooking. We're going to be frying some fish and shrimp. So the first thing is to unthaw these frozen fish and shrimp. I have each one of them in some cold water. I want to make sure they get nice and unthawed. While they're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and cut up my broccoli. I have some fresh broccoli. So I am going to cut off just the broccoli spears and soak them as well so we could get them clean. Once you clean your broccoli, you can go ahead and get your pan nice and hot. Add them in the pan with a little water. You can cover that and let that start steaming and they do just fine on their own. You don't have to do a whole lot to that fresh broccoli. They're going to do what they need to do in that water. The potatoes that I'm using can be microwaved individually. I actually put them all in instead of seven minutes for one. I put all four in for 10 minutes because I was anxious to go ahead and get the grease cooking in my new deep fryer. So I just bought this deep fryer today at Walmart. It was $39 and I thought it'd be just enough for us. I was going to take it outside, but my husband thought it would be just fine in the house. So I plugged it up and turned it on and it started getting hot. And then I realized that I needed to go ahead and add the grease. So the type of oil that I'm using is peanut oil. And now that it's nice and hot, let's go ahead and get our peanut oil and add the peanut oil to the deep fryer so we can allow time for that to heat up. I used that entire container, I think I paid about $11 for it, from um, Walmart, and I let it get nice and hot. Now this deep fryer comes with two individual baskets and one large, and so I'm going to first try the individual baskets with um, a little shrimp just to see how it does. As you can see, it is hot nice and hot and it is oil frying. So I'm going to get some uh, paper towel and line that pan so that the uh, grease can won't, it, so that the shrimp won't be sitting in grease. And let's check those shrimp. We went ahead and put in another order. <laughs> I call them order like I'm cooking. Uh, put some more shrimp in the other basket and put those in. And then I said, wait a minute, let me get the top. I'm supposed to put the top on at some point. So back and forth I went trying to figure out how to use it. But as you can see, the shrimp are coming out golden brown. They look really good. And as a matter of fact, I probably ate two or three just standing there cooking as you can see they're disappear disappearing and at one point my husband came and he tasted them as well 
So let's get the shrimp going and then we'll figure out the fish and I'll let you guys watch until the end and see the end result. Let your body take control 